We're going to begin this hour with a story about a real-life guardian angel. You're about to meet a woman who was fired from her job as a correctional office officer rather, after helping a young pregnant mom at a Louisiana prison. Roberta Bell is her name, and as you're about to see, her incredible act of sacrifice is just a first step in her journey toward giving back. Lead national correspondent David Begno explains. You got your bed made up? Got your book bag? Roberta Bell is the kind of woman who wears her heart on her sleeve. Hey, my bum, you ready? Heck, she'd give it away in a heartbeat. She's 58 years old, lives in Vicksburg, Mississippi, and is raising five of her eight grandchildren. Come on, Jay. And recently, there was another child who she took care of. And there was an inmate there that needed assistance, some help. She was pregnant. Bell met that inmate, Katie Bourgeois, at the Louisiana Transitional Center for Women. It is a prison where Bell worked as a correctional officer. Situations in her family led her to where she didn't have anyone to really get her baby. And she wanted someone that would just keep the baby until it was her time to get out, because she only had like about two months to serve. Bell says she alerted her supervisor, and he warned her it was a conflict of interest. She says the supervisor later asked her, Are you going to still go through with it? I say, if the hospital called me to come get that baby, I'm going to get that baby. And he said, well, OK, I'm going to have to terminate you. The way she sees it, the prison gave her a blessing. One week after she was fired, Belle got a call. The baby was born. I start taking pictures. <laughs> I start snapping pictures. He was so precious. And I put his clothes and stuff on him, and I held him for a little while. They buckled him down in the seatbelt. We left and, and came home. And Katie had named him? Kaysen. Kaysen. And I was so amazed because my grandson's name is Kaysen. Really? Yes. Did that feel like a God wink moment? It did. And I said, Lord, this must be you. As word spread, her living room became loaded with diapers and baby formula. And when I tell you, David, God provided so much stuff, people came. Bye. Agencies called. It was just overwhelming, really, because I couldn't do it by myself. I couldn't. That was part of my ministry that I'm getting ready to start. Where are you taking me? To the uh, Serenity House. Serenity House, as she calls it, is a double-wide trailer in the middle of rural Mississippi that she plans to make a transitional home for women leaving prison. When do you think you'll have it ready? I'm hoping it'll be ready before the first of the year. Because them ladies calling me. <laughs> <laughs> I bet they are. And you'll be able to house six women in here? Yes. OK. It is one way she plans to continue what she says was best about working at that yeah. prison. You love the job? Oh, yeah. Why'd you love it? I, I loved it because it gave me a chance to talk to the women and to encourage them and to get them to go into a better direction mm. and to let them know what they have done is bad, but they can do better. Even with her admirable aspirations, she still had to work. So after she was fired, she took a job sorting cans at a food distributor. But that was only after she stayed home to take care of little Kaysen. For two months, mm -hmm. you raised that baby. For two months, I raised him, yeah. I loved him as he was my own. And I still love him today. On the 4th of July this year, Katie Bourgeois was released from prison. She went right to Roberta Bell's home to get her son. She was kind of, you know, a little nervous because uh, he didn't really know her. And she said, he, he's crying, Miss Bell. I said, well, baby, I say he's got to get used to you all over again. Got to meet you, mama. Yeah. Katie said at the time. I can't thank her enough for everything she's done. He, he's doing great. What is the lesson for other people watching this story? The lesson is don't be afraid to step out and believe what's in your heart mm. and know that God is going to take care of you. Even if it's breaking a rule? Even if it's breaking a rule. Was it the right thing to do? 
oh, it was definitely the right thing to do. And if I had to do it all over again, I would do it. Yes, the prison fired her for it, but the public rewarded her. You see, people everywhere were so touched by this story that they donated $90,000 to the lady with the big heart who rescued that tiny soul, his guardian angel, still moved by the lullaby that brought both of them heavenly peace. I want to walk in the newness of life. Just let me be a follower of Christ. And he go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I sang him to sleep. <laughs> uh, that's sweet. That's sweet. I love that Miss Bell. Listen, Kason is doing very well this morning. He is currently living in foster care. As for the prison where Miss Bell worked, they did not return our calls for comment. One more thing about Miss Bell. Two months ago, there was another inmate at that same prison who gave birth to a baby. And Miss Bell paid for that inmate's mother to be driven to the hospital in Northeast Louisiana to pick up the baby and take the baby back home. It was another way she was using the donation she got to help others. Wow, Gosh, David, David I so mean, twists and turns and so many twists story. and turns. You're right, Tony. Yeah. I mean, it reminds me of what John Lewis said about getting into good trouble. Yeah. Because here yes, we are. Right, and the yeah. fact that she was white, too, I th thought added another layer to the story. Because it shows when you're kind and you want to give to others, there is no such thing as color in situations you're like right. that. I loved everything about that. But is she still raising money to open up the, what does she call it? The Serenity Home? Serenity House? She still is. She still yes. is. But she has yes. that job yes. sorting cans. But her priority is to run that Serenity House when it's ready. Oh my but, gosh. David, I don't know if you have information on this or if you can even get into it, but it, the, the, the baby boy, Kasem, he's in foster care now. He's not with his mom? Mm. No, Tony. Look, mom is still working to get her life back on track. And so for the meantime, the baby is in foster care, and we're told he's doing really well there. That's I know, good. and that doesn't make hear, any yeah. sense either when you know that Roberta Bell would take this baby in. You know she's special special from the beginning of the story when yeah. you said she's raising five of her eight grandchildren. Right. Wow. Right. She's amazing. And doing it with a smile on her face. Yes. She's yeah. a we gem. Like service. Yes. A lot of help from the community as well. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, a lot of people yeah. pitching in. David, thank yeah. you very much so. for pitching in with that story. That's a great one. Appreciate it.